Hey, Tim here. And in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to create a step line chart. A step line chart is a really effective way of just removing the noise from the traditional line chart. It makes it very easy to see trends over a larger period of time without having to make the user uh, sort of suffer by giving them more detail than is required. I use this uh, chart to effect in my most recent Makeover Monday where I was showing Donald, Donald Trump's tweets over several years, but I was trying to highlight the volume. Um, to create this line chart, it's actually quite a simple thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, it works really well over sort of continuous data and continuous periods of time, but you can use this in any situation where you're trying to showcase volume. Um, and in this particular example, I took the data down to a day level. Okay, and I brought in the number of records. So I was basically seeing how much data is in each given day. And when you look at this viz, you can start to see the noise that I'm talking about. It's really hard for me to focus on the general trend, which if you squint, you can just sort of see this general shape happening here. And I want to bring that out to the user, make it a little bit more clear. So I'm going to use a fixed level of detail calculation to highlight this trend a little bit more clearly. So I'm just going to right click number of records and I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to hold control and move my mouse wheel up. You can also hold control plus to do this. And I'm just going to type out my calculation. I typically type everything out and then I start filling in the blanks. So if I type in fix, this is what I need. Hit enter. I need the date truncation function. Hit enter. I'm just going to close that off. I need to do a sum for my number of records. Go to the end. Close off that sum and then close off the fixed level of detail calculation. But I've still got a, an error here because my date truncation doesn't have anything in it. What I need to do is truncate the date and time. And the reason I'm doing this is because I actually want to tell Tableau to stop aggregating the data at a higher level than what my visualization is showing. In this particular case, a week. So I'm just going to go in here and type in uh, week in between the speech marks, which is the notation for this function. And you'll see that my calculation becomes valid. So let me just describe this calculation one more time. I'm aggregating the number of records and I'm fixing it for the given week. Okay? Because I don't have a uh, calculation which is truncating at the week level, I'm doing it in the calculation. And so what this will do is it will return the total for the week on every given day in that week. And that's the effect that creates the step line chart. Okay? So I'm just going to hit OK. But before I do that, I'm going to name this example just so it's easy to find. I'm going to hit Supply. And it's here. I'm just going to bring that out put it right next to my other number of records, and you can start to see the effect happening. If I just make the size of the line a little bit smaller, you can see it's much easier to see the individual trends within the months because I'm aggregating at a much, much easier level to understand. And because this data set goes over multiple years, it makes more sense. Now, if I wanted to, I could change this aggregation. So maybe a week isn't correct. Maybe I'd like to aggregate this down to the month. I can just type that in. Hit apply. And you can see it's starting to aggregate again at that level. Now you have to be careful because these two charts aren't the same. If you look at the axis, this is now in the thousands, whereas this is still in the hundreds. So whilst the trend might be the same, you have to be careful about what you do when you put them next to each other. You don't want to confuse the user by showing two things that are actually vastly different. But you can keep customizing this, keep playing around, but it's a very, very simple effect. And uh, if you add some flourishes and design touches to it, you can make it look um, nice and neat and simple. And it's a very, very simple way of understanding um, a lot of information. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. Check out the next one next week, and I'll see you soon.